Shattered Space is just over a week away, and Bethesda has been posting teasers as to what is going on in the story. Just like the original release of the game, they are being tight-lipped on Shattered Space's story, yet still giving hints and a general idea as to what will happen on Varun Kai. Let's go over what we currently know and some of the things that have been revealed with the official timeline. Before we begin, I do want to warn that there may be some minor story spoilers here, but I'll warn of those ahead of time. With the current lore, not much is known about the Varun and that is by their design. The House Varun are a group that prefer isolation and secrecy, however we can interact with them through an embassy in New Atlantis and some incursions with the Varun Zealots. More on them in a minute. Things all started when a passenger of a colony ship named Janan Varun experienced a period of missing time during an expedition. This happened along one of the ship's grav jumps, and Jinan is said to have experienced a being called the Great Serpent. The Great Serpent is said to have created the Milky Way galaxy, then subsequently went on sort of an extended hibernation. Once this being awakens, it will bring about an event called the Shrouding, where only its followers will survive and others will be devoured. This is where their creepy cult begins. Once establishing themselves, the House Varun reached out to the settled systems using their original ship, now known as the Morning. Things seemed diplomatic at first, until 10 years later when Jinan started the Serpent's Crusade, a war against all of human civilization. This crusade lasted 23 years until Jinan's death. That is when his son, Jarek Varun, tried to make peace and fix things up. The House Varun attempted to fix his population and establish an embassy in New Atlantis, but these efforts failed and the House Varun once again began to isolate themselves. This is where the current events of the game occur. There are still some hostile groups of House Varun roaming around the system known as the Zealots, and if you've played the game, you've probably run across them. Their homeworld of Varun Kai cannot be discovered in game because the House Varun does not give the coordinates to their members when they are sent off on their missions. These members are shipped off to gather intel and materials they cannot produce on their own, and once their mission is complete, a ship is sent to bring them back. That's about all that is known about them. They run their operations through a secret system and, at the time of the game, are led by Anasco Varun. Now time for the spoiler bits, although it doesn't really spoil much. So skip ahead to the next chapter in the video if you'd like. Okay, now that you've chosen to go on, let's talk about Andresia. Through building your relationship with Andresia, we learn that she was formerly a member of House Varun and, just as mentioned before, she doesn't know where her home planet or her fellow Varun members are. Remember, the House Varun likes to be ultra secretive. If you've built up your relationship with her enough, you get a mission to help her find some of her former smuggler friends. Through this, we learn that the Varun Zealots are just an offshoot of the House Varun, twisting their teachings to give them a reason to continue their conflict with the quotes, non-believers. I won't go much into her personal story, but before Constellations, her and her team of smugglers were attacked by Varun Zealots and she escaped, leaving the fate of her friends unknown. This is why Andresia will be important in the DLC. She has direct ties to the House Varun and Varun Kai, and seemingly some unfinished business to attend to. With what we currently know out of the way, let's take a look at what has been revealed from the Shattered Space DLC. This has been split up in a few videos posted on Twitter and an official timeline on Bethesda's website. The videos have shown some of the story through the eyes of Keswick Mohar, a member of the House Varun. The series, named The Serpent's Path, follows Keswick after a failed mission. Following along with the lore, Keswick cannot return to Varun Kai as he does not know the way and will not receive help since his team has died on their mission. He seeks his way back much in the same way Jinan initially found their home planet and hopes to return this way. Nothing new has been said in this so far three-part series, but I'm sure Bethesda plans to release more videos and more information the closer we get to release. As far as whether we will meet up with Keswick is unknown, but I don't see why we wouldn't have some sort of crossover with the effort put into the videos. It'll be interesting to see if Keswick can make his way back and what impact this journey will have as it closely follows Jinan's journey. I guess we'll just have to wait and see over a week when Shattered Space releases. Now for where the bulk of the information comes from, the official timeline on Bethesda's website. If you want to read the full timeline, I'll leave a link in the description as I've gone over some of the information already and reading through it will take up too much time in this video. It all starts off with the initial journey made by Jinan Varun and his crew where he saw his vision of the Great Serpent. He gained a following and began colonizing what is now Varun Kai and Dajra the focal point of Shattered Space. He began to restructure society into different houses and later forced everyone to worship the Great Serpent. 
Jinan then ordered experiments with grav drives in order to reach the Great Serpent again, although there were some concerns over limited supplies among House Varun members. Eventually, they repurposed the Archimedes ship into the now named Morning and used it to reach out to the settled systems. Apart from gathering resources they could not get on their own, the Varun used this opportunity to gather intel, ships, and armaments on the rest of the civilizations. After a decade of communications, Janan ordered the beginning of the Serpent's Crusade. After his death, his son Jarek takes control, but we've already been over this part. Janan's death and Jarek's failed search for peace left a divide in their culture, and Jarek's twin brother, Jondar, publicly opposes viewpoints, eventually separating to the House Malin. This is where the Varun Zealots come from, and their subsequent terrorizing of the settled systems. Later on, Jarek dies and his son, Anasko Varun, takes control. More secretive grav drive experiments are performed, and here we are at the events of Shattered Space. So, where does this leave us, and what's to come for House Varun? Simply put, we'll have to wait and see. Andresia will obviously have some sort of role in the story due to her history, with Bethesda already mentioning the other factions in Starfield having a role in this new story. We can now see where this political divide derives from with the already set in turmoil that Varun Kai has been in. The history of isolationism and secrecy has not been kind on the House Varun, and now this is obviously apparent. We've got the stepping stones to the story all in place, but the bulk of what's to come will probably be under wraps until we can get into the game and play much like the way the initial story rolled out at the release of Starfield. Well, that's about it. There's enough to go on to begin our adventure, and I really like this approach. Up until this time, there wasn't much information on the Varun, and I enjoyed the mystery behind them. However, I look forward to unraveling this mystery and miss the opportunity in the base game. How do you feel about the story? Are you ready to jump in and help out the House Varun? Or take over with an Iron Fist, if that's an option? Leave a comment and let us know. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe and come join us for our Starfield streams. I know I'll be playing the DLC as soon as it drops. Thanks so much for watching and we will be back with more Shattered Space soon.